Good evening, my fellow Americans. The voices you hear in this video are not the real voices of these individuals. All voices have been AI generated and are strictly for entertainment purposes. Things get a little crazy and heated between us, so viewer discretion is advised. This video also in no way is meant to reflect any political views of mine or anyone else. Thank you for watching, and uh, let's play some cricket. Well, you guys really did it this time. This seems like a positive way to start the episode. This better be good, Barry. I woke up from my 11-hour nap for this. You guys really pissed off Ben with the whole little Ben bullshit. And now he isn't playing with us tonight. I take back what I said. This really is a positive way to start out the episode. I'm going to miss little Benjamin. All right, back to bed. Relax, he's just being a typical whiny Ben. He'll be back. But I still want to play, so I brought someone else into play. If it's Hillary, I'm not playing, Barry. Please be Rosie O'Donnell. Good evening, how are y'all doing tonight? Fuck's sake, Barry, I'd rather it have been Hillary and Ben. Relax there, feller. We all gonna have a great game celebrating America's pastime. He's already got White House clearance, Donald. He was the best I could bring in last minute. All right, well, let's go then. Boot the game up. Someone gonna tell me who this guy is? All right, well, I think it's only appropriate we have a friendly Democrats versus Republicans game. What is that? I'd rather have Joe in all honesty. That's you and I, Joe. We are Democrats. No, I'm Joe Biden. Never mind. Keep Joe. Yes, Joe, but you represent the Democratic Party. That is your political affiliation. But why do Donald and Sporge get to be the old republic from Star Wars? Actually, it's George Oldtimer. Star Wars? Joe, what the actual fuck are you talking about? What are you talking about? All right, let's try this again. Let's do Joe and I versus Donald and George. I think those are the same teams as mentioned earlier, Obaminator. Uh, yes, they are. Bushinator. But a certain individual had trouble comprehending how I proposed the teams be earlier. Question. Yes, Donald. Can I be by myself? No, Donald. Figures. Don't you worry, Tan Man. We're going to have some fun. Tan, you say? Yeah, very orange shade of tan, haha. -ha. Sorry there, Goober. George, you're going to fit right on in. All right, since Barack screwed me over last game, George, we are going to be the Dodgers. Whoa, easy there, partner. We're going to be my Texas Rangers. I own them, you know. Own them, bro. You owned like 2% of the team. Don't come in here claiming to be a Mark Cuban. Yeah, George, that's like bragging about naming your own star in the solar system. I think it's cool you own the New York Rangers, George. What do you guys own, may I ask? Your mom. All right, so you guys will be the Rangers. Joe, I think we should be the Dodgers. You're a real asshole, Barry, you know that? May as well take Dodger George with you, too. Dude, Dodger's shoes better than any questions in regards to... Donald, for the sake of monetization, please do not finish that thought. Fuck you, George. All right, George. This part usually takes some patience, as Donald usually has an issue with any field we propose. Whether it have a train, short walls, bullpens on the field, so on and so forth. First of all, I never had an issue with the field from the last game. I simply asked if that was a train. Don't be spreading no fake news. And yes, I had an issue with every ball hit 450 feet in the gap getting caught and 260 foot, no doubt, home runs down the line. And don't get me started on that fucking little league field you picked. My point exactly. Let's play on a golf course then. I'm down. I'm game. There are no golf courses in this game. Thanks, Joe. Anytime, kitten. Well, let's play at Globe Life Field then. I honestly rather somehow play baseball on a golf course than play there. Don't disrespect the ballpark in Arlington. I owned it, you know. George, you own 2% of the team, not that dump of a ballpark. Dump may be a bit too harsh. It wasn't that bad. Think you're thinking of the Coliseum for Oakland? Barry, calling the Coliseum a dump would be a massive compliment. There are no words to properly describe that thing. I don't know, guys. Some freaky things occur in the upper deck. Yeah, I heard that's where you go to sniff hair, Joe. All right, let's go with Fenway then. Place has been around 100 plus years. It's a national treasure. Let's do it, gang. Obama's choice once again. You're a national treasure, Barry. And like we've been doing quick counts and six inning game. Uh, Barry, some viewers were not fans of those settings. Okay. Do these whiners edit these videos? Or pay for the limited amount of characters we have on 11 labs? Not to my knowledge, Barack. Okay, then I could honestly fucking care less. Well, alrighty then. Fuck you, George. Whoa, what? Hopefully for this game I can finally- Oh my goodness. What? To whom do I owe the pleasure to be in the presence of such majestic architecture? Is this one of those Trumpisms? Most likely, George. Donald, do you mind being a bit more specific? You're joking, right? That... What am I not seeing? It's just a wall... Okay, I see now. My God, that is the most beautiful wall I've ever seen. Well, aside from my own, of course, haha. -ha. 
Am I missing something here, fellas? Donald is easily turned onto walls. It's something we have been encouraging him to seek help for, but it isn't easy. All right, admiration time over. Can we play now? All right, George, I'll get things started at the plate. And I'll pitch first, Barry. See ya. Uh, I don't know, Donnie. Fucking, who the hell built this piece of shit? Not even a minute later and he has turned on the wall. Classic, Donald. Still a nice hit, partner. That's the problem. The batter should be rewarded for hitting a ball that hard, not get screwed over by this heaping chunk of metal. You're just mad it's nicer than your shitty wall. So hit it higher next time, orange man. Oopsie poopsie. Yeah, that one is gone for sure, Donald. Are you sure? Thought maybe the bullpens were a part of the field? Or maybe the pitchers in the pen could catch it for the out, too? The hell gave you any of those impressions? Because every field you have picked has had some sort of bullshit. So I'm really just prepared for anything at this point. Oh, even the one with the choo-choo train? No, I'll give that one a pass. No doubt about that one. That's a goner. I don't know. Looks like Joe has a read on it. There it is, another Mickey Mouse fly out, home run literally anywhere else. All right, time to hit now and get those runs back. You ain't hitting shit, Joe. So what's the deal here? Do I pitch now, Donnie? No, you're just here for really crappy moral support. Ignore him, George. We rotate every inning. So you will play the second, fourth, and sixth. I'll decide that. Oh my God, George, you put Jacob DeGrom on the mound? Best pitcher in baseball, why wouldn't I? Yeah, maybe if he wasn't made of fucking glass. We will be lucky to see him go one inning. Barnacles. I don't know what is more deserving of celebrating. The one, two, three inning or the fact DeGrom pitched a full inning without crying for the trainer. You're really not fond of this DeGroomer guy, are you? I actually met him once. Cap. Let me guess, he didn't vote for you and your petty ass still isn't over it? Barry, as a businessman, I get along with everybody. I have the most utmost respect for anybody I cross paths with, including- Get to the fucking point. He's a very nasty person. I asked him to sign a baseball for me while he was walking on the sidewalk after a game. Dude just started whispering to himself, I'm not signing, no, I'm not signing, I'm not signing. So you're mad a dude wouldn't sign a baseball for a grown orange ass man? Probably wanted to sell it on eBay. I collect you ass hats. I don't need the $50 his shitty signature is worth. That's chump change to a billionaire like myself. Do you want me to sign a baseball for you, Donald? A blank baseball would actually lose value with your scribble on it. You probably don't even know how to write in cursive. Why would I write in cursing? Who would dare write profanities on a baseball? I would take a Biden signed ball over a DeGrom all day. Because you're an idiot. To be fair, Joe has done more this year than DeGrom has done in his last three seasons. Has he though? Have I what? Actually, probably not. At least I can turn a double play. Ah, I just got under it. Definitely escaped danger there, Barack. Yeah, because I almost got distracted by Donald's pity party story about a fucking baseball. That should fall, Barry. And he fucking dives. Go, Barry, go, go, go. This is gonna be stupid, but screw it. You got him easily here, George. Almost had you, you little bugger. Yep, only off by 10 feet. Might tag here. George, get behind that yellow line so when you catch it, you can- Rut row, go, Barry. Fuck's sake. I did what you said, Donald. Why did we do that? We didn't do shit. Can you please throw the damn ball in? He's pump faking, trying to throw off the defenders. Up your nose with a rubber hose, sit down now. Throw the fucking ball. No need, Donnie, struck his ass out. It hit the dirt. And? You gotta throw it to first on a drop third strike. Huh, all right, fellas. Dumbass. Comebacker. Uh-oh, that ball may have grazed DeGrom. He will be out for the season with a scratched hip now. Nice hitting, Barry. All tied up now, Joseph. I think now would be a great time to let everyone know to use code FINFTW for $20 off you. Hey, instead of being a complete sellout, want to try recording one fucking out this inning? Just like that, it's a two-run game. Great three-pointer, Barry. Don't worry, Donald, we can fight through this. Anyway, use code FINFTW for- Ha ha ha! Oh no, you aren't saying shit until you clean up this shit. Because as of now, it looks like the only thing that code does is award free outs to Barry and Joe. Oh my God, could this be it? The first out, he did it. Everyone give George a round of applause. Yay, good job, George. Should we still applause, George? I don't even care at this point. See if he can make this play. Doubtful. Oh yeah? Well, how about that? Phenomenal. Looks like this inning will finally come to an end.
I lost track of how many runs we scored. I only have five fingers on this hand, so couldn't keep counting after. But it was definitely at least five. So use the other hand. Oh, I haven't learned how to count on that one yet. Well, anyway, use code FINFTW for- Nope, you lost your privilege to sell out today. There's extra bases. Just kidding. Why would Team Donald get anything productive from a stadium Barry chooses? I thought we were Team Republican. I think you are because Barry said that him and I are Team Disco Cat. Democrat. Damn, couldn't even help a brother out and get those runs back for me. Yeah, I expected bigger things from Mr. High Horse over here. Pretty tough to score six runs, but clearly it's easy enough for you to give up that many. Boy, you said it, Orange Man. Well, folks, be sure to use code FINFTW for- $20 off your first purchase at SeatGeek. Why did you do that? Because you suck. Ha, huh. okay, Angel Hernandez. And that's how you pitch. Wow. I went down looking. My father would be so disappointed in me. Oh yeah, Daddy Barack is extremely disappointed in you. Time for the Bush Redemption Tour. That may be trouble, Barry. I'm well aware, Joe. Okay, that's definitely trouble. Inside the Parker time. George, if you even round second. I got him here. Lead off triple, let's go, boys. Never make the first or last out at third, George. And I didn't, so will you shut the hell up? Oh my God, that sound. Yep, Barry's wall ain't holding that one in. Way to go, Barry. Joe, please let me know when you score six runs in one inning. About time. Joe, could you please shut up? I'm catching this. Yeah, catching grass clippings. So close. That was way closer than I thought it would be. Yep, but still a fail. Nice hit, George. Nice hit, George. I'd say nice homer, but you know, Mickey Mouse field. Donald, would you shut the hell up? Would you shut the hell down? What? He already did shut down on the mound, Joe. Ha ha ha. Joe! What? Fuck, I mean George. What's up, partner? Get back to second. That was only the second out. Step on the bag, Barry. He won't move. Lucked out on that, George. Don't ever pull a Sleepy Joe caliber play like that ever again. There we go. About time you ended this inning. Whoa, whoa, stick drift. Blame the player, not the controller. Donald, this is from you busting it when you smashed it when we were playing NHL 23. Oh yeah, sure. Look who's giving away free outs now. Everyone hold their breath. Piss off, Joe. Safe to say Barry and George will not be winning a Cy Young or Gold Glove anytime soon. Oh my God, a one, two, three inning from George? You betcha. You hit as good as you pitch, Barry. I literally scored six runs in the second inning. Let me know when you would like to contribute. Should probably warm up some arms, but who should I get loose? Definitely gotta warm up Bruiser Gatorade. Who? That guy, the one Barry is on. This guy, you mean Bruce Dar Gratterall? Yeah, Gatorade, warm him up. Gonna be a close play. Definitely would have been if you weren't six feet off the bag. If this ends up being another long ass inning. What, Barry, what are you gonna do? I will not vote for Joe. Vote for me for what? For President Joe. Uh, I don't feel like doing that shit again. Too political for me. Quick, gotta throw it home. No first, Joe. Damn almost was trying to prevent the run from scoring. With two outs, had you thrown it to first, the run wouldn't have counted. The hell would you know? You didn't even know about a drop third strike. Oh no, Barry isn't gonna be too happy. Oh, we are well past that, Joseph. Phew, glad that's behind us. No, Joe, I'm fucking livid now. Oh, livid. Donald, what's livid mean? It means happy. Oh good, I'll keep them coming then, Barry. Ha ha ha. You guys peeing your pants yet? It's Gatorade time. Shooby doop bop, sports something top 100. Not how you do it, Joe, only Ben does it right. Well, kinda, he still sucks. Would you look at that, another piss missile staying in the fucking yard? Oh, for fuck's sake, Donald, it's 11 to six. Would you stop crying? Actually looking more like 12 to six. I hit the cutoff man. I don't know why he threw Joe, it. Joe, please just save it. I'm over it at this point. Oh, Donnie, no wall is holding that in. You're damn right it ain't. When does the mercy rule kick in? Finally, hopefully. Nice hitting there, Donald. Appreciate it, George. Let's shut him out this half inning. Oh, wow. What is it, Joe? Look at this. You, Joe, please stop rolling up your pant leg. The hair on my legs are turning blonde. That's how I know summer is approaching. 
What the actual hell is wrong with you, Joe? Never seen a set of hairy legs, boys. Here, check these suckers out. Ew, gross. Get out of here, creep. Kablamo. Thanks for contributing, Joe. Anytime, Barry. Always happy to be of service. Even though most of the time your brain is out of service. Going to be a tough play. No play too tough for Trump. Are you kidding me? Except for that one. <laughs> Piss poor effort from this scrub. Never seen such a poor attempt to catch a ball. How ironic. His name is Outman, and guess what? You are out, man. Cringe. That one will beat the shift. Barry, please don't give up any more runs. I want to win. I don't think he does. He is literally 0-3. Wait, Barry, you have yet to win a game? Oh, yes, I know. I am winless. Sounds like you need to get good, mate. And stop randomly diving. Well, had Donald not bust my controller. Not the only thing I'm a bust? Oh, please stop, Donald. I beg you. Well, no shot I get him here. Looks like another one for Team Trump. Team Republican. And the deficit increases by one for Team Disco Cat. God help me. Yo, for real, though, fuck this wall. In all seriousness, what is the point of it? Uh, because all parks have to have one. No shit, I meant why is it so tall? I don't know, Ben would probably know. Want me to call and ask? God, no, he'd probably be like, well, hypothetically, for the sake of the argument, if the wall was shorter. Haha, -ha. oh, little Benjamin. Stop calling me that. Can you guys honestly chill with the hits? Nah, I'm good. And this is why we don't play nine innings. The videos would be an hour long. Well, maybe if you guys didn't bullshit when picking teams and choosing a stadium. You contribute to that bullshit and don't act like you don't. All right, Barry, time for the comeback of the century. Of course, let me just pull eight runs out of my ass. Well, with such a big lead, may as well save our big bullpen arms for the rest of the series and put in our long reliever. What? There is no series? Don't worry, you'll thank me later. For what? Blowing the game? You're only wasting our chances of winning by putting in that scrub. Great start, Barack. Save it. See, Donald, two more to go. Calm your orange ass down. Watch this. George, please just let it fall. I mean, technically he did. Be smart here, Barry. We need base runners. Joe, I do not need base running advice. In fact, any baseball-related advice from you. What's baseball? There we go. That should be two. Let me just get behind that yellow line. No, George, don't worry about it, please. And it hit the fucking ground. Just doing what I was told, Donald. George, I never, you know what, it's fine, I'm not worried. Those arrows mean I can catch it, right? Yeah, but you ain't. Shucks, almost had it. You seeing this, Joe? This is how you get a rally going. Yeah, uh-huh, let me know when you win, Mr. Owen 3. Big oof. George, please take this guy out. Nah, he can get out of it, gotta hold him accountable. He got himself in this mess, he can get himself out. Just over his glove. Just over that wall. My God, George, take him out. I think he's doing fine, George. Keep him in. Take him out. All right, all right, fine. Such a whiny baby. Watch this. If you fucking dive. How we feeling, Donnie? I miss Ben Barry. I really, really, really fucking miss Ben right now. I don't. I think George is doing great. Man, Donald, everyone is hitting the ball. Are they? Wow, I didn't notice. And just like that, we are all tied up, fellas. Great hitting, Barry. Looks like we have a ball game, boys. No, what we have is an utter disappointment. We were up by eight fucking runs, and you are one away from handing Obama his first victory, which sure as hell is as deserving as Biden's victory in 2020. Will you shut up, man? There we go, two gone here. Thanks for waiting until they tied it up to record the second damn out. Don't worry, I'll let this fall. No, that is the one to die for. Send him, send him. I am, I am. Barry, you did it. You got your first win. Hell yeah, brother. We got the win. What a phenomenal game of baseball. Well, everybody, don't forget to leave a... Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. You screwed me out of victory harder than Joe did. Cope. I want this shoe dodger gone and Ben back next game. If you can dodge a shoe, you can dodge a ball. Clearly. You managed to dodge every fucking ball hit to you this game. Well, everybody, thanks for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. I didn't. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and comment if Ben should be back next game. Or if the greatest president of all time should be back next game. Ha! That's fucking grand.